Now in my last video, I showed you my favourite three weapons in all of Dead Island 2. First was the brass knuckles, some weapons I love to run around with and punch up some zombies. The second was the fire axe I love to use on a day-to-day -day basis since I love the slicing mechanic in this game. And the third was the hunting rifle, to defeat big muscle in this game because let's be honest you will need some powerful weapons to kill zombies. Well in this video I'm going to show you how you can get the hunting rifle the easiest and maybe even the quickest way if you've unlocked it. Now earlier in the campaign you can actually obtain a rifle which is called the sporting rifle early by killing a zombie named Nikki. If you go upstairs within our house you get the rifle and some ammunition to go with it to trial out one of the first weapons within the game you'll get your hands on. Now you can get another rifle called Peggy from speaking to Curtis within Emma Jaunt's house and going to his house to obtain his lovely rifle. Now, of course, that's a mission you'll have to complete. Maybe not the easiest slash quickest way to do this thing. But if you unlocked a certain area within LA, I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can buy the rifle straight outright. Now, let's go ahead and kill this crusher, shall we? Because let's show off the power of the rifle. Oh, looks like he's a bit angry. Oh, well. Two shots and dealt with. Now after dealing with that crusher that came out of nowhere pretty much, you want to go over to your nearest fast travel location. Now I'm going to go into this Lotus Ville or Vile or Ville shop and I'm going to go ahead and go over to my little fast travel map which is on the wall over here. You want to go ahead and scroll down to the, I believe it will be called the pier. Is it the pier? No, it's not actually the pier. It's Venice Beach. How silly of me. On Venice Beach, you'll find the tower and you'll see a soldier there called Soldier Rodriguez. She will be your vendor once you unlock this area. Now, once you've spawned here, you'll spawn in front of the workbench. Oh, that zombie's very, very loud. You'll spawn in front of the workbench with some uh, different things around you, like these weapons that you can obviously sell. And in here is where you'll want to go if you want majority of your gunpowder. See, gunpowder is very hard to find, so that's another tip for you. Of course, you're going to be firing a lot of heavy rounds uh, using this rifle. And creating ammunition, you can never have enough of the gunpowder. And that's the main thing you run out of the most. So let's head up these stairs. And you'll see Soldier Rodriguez looking at the whiteboard hunched over the desk. She'll speak to you, say something, but if you have this option available after maybe doing a certain, I don't know, mission for her, you'll have the trader option. If you open up the trader option, you can see here that you can buy different types of the hunting rifle. If the hunting rifle is not available for you yet, you may have to get later in the game, but more than likely if you have her unlocked as a trader, you can basically go ahead and purchase one of these hunting rifles. As you can see, it is 3,000 worth of base damage, and this standard one, rare, is only 2,800. I say only, but it's still a lot. Of course, you can also buy heavy rounds if they're available from here, as well as gunpowder if available. Now, like I've said, the hunting rifle is the power, one of the most, if not the most powerful weapon slash rifle in the game. And of course, you can make it more powerful by customizing it. So if you obviously go into my hunting rifle here and I show you my upgrades, you can copy what's on screen now to increase your damage to almost 4,000, well not even almost, over 4,000 damage output, as well as some other effects like the Cremator mod. Now before I sign off this video, I thought I might as well go out and show you how well this weapon performs if you haven't seen my last video. Of course, we're going to have to find some special type zombies to try this out. As you can see, I'm going to run away because that zombie's going to explode. Let's go ahead and find ourselves some special zombies, shall we? Ah, wonderful Venice Beach. Full of zombies, special types mostly. Crushers, screamers, you name it, they're all here. Now let's go ahead and try and find ourselves a crusher or maybe even another type of zombie to show how this rifle works and how effective it is. We've got a burster over there. Oh, we've got a runner here. I don't really want to use my things. Come on. Put them up, mate. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, sorry there. I got a bit carried away. Gotta go find ourselves, ourselves a lovely little screamer. Maybe Muscle Beach will have some lovely little uh, 
fires for us. Let's get rid of this runner because I just want to show off the rifle, mate. Can you just leave me alone for one second? Obviously not. Oh, look at that. We have a wonderful screamer. Okay. I'll deal with you. And we'll deal with you. Right. Lovely screamer. Not facing us. Let's show off this rifle, shall we? When you see a special type of mutant, as you can see, a volcanic screamer, they are electrified. So, of course, normal screamers aren't volcanics screamers has certain abilities so this can fire electricity if you run into an inferno type zombie which fires fire or is immune to fire then these this type of weapon will not work because it has the chromated mod on it so keep that in mind whatever modifier you apply that has a certain element if that zombie is that element it will be immune to it you can see we have an inferno crusher and he is immune to it but this volcanic screamer will not be and you can take it out within two shots. But of course, the Inferno Crusher, this will not be viable. So if you put any mods on this, make sure that it can pretty much deal with any type of zombie. Um, Inferno Crushers are quite regular, so I recommend just probably putting something not like Cremator. But then again, it's up to you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope this has been helpful. Hopefully, you know where to find the hunting rifle now, and you know what mods to put on it to make it as strong as it can be. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.